the sarcomeres begin and end with Z-discs. Anchored in the Z-discs are the units of actin all, uh, arranged in long chains. The active sites of actin are covered by a rope-like molecule known as tropomyosin, and troponin holds it in place. The thick bands in the center of the sarcomere are made of the protein myosin. Myosin proteins can not only swivel, but they can reach up, bind to an active site of actin, and swivel, by thereby yanking the actin filament. In a sarcomere, the myosin filaments in the center can yank the actin filaments anchored in the Z-discs towards the center of the sarcomere. When calcium is released during an action potential, the calcium will bind to the troponin, and this then moves tropomyosin out of the way. The active sites are now exposed and open. The myosin heads can now attach, pivot towards the center of the sarcomere, detach after binding ATP, and return to the ready position. This cycle of attach, pivot, detach, return, attach, pivot, detach, return, repeats itself as long as the calcium is bound to troponin. Once the calcium is pumped back into the SR, tropomyosin and troponin slide back over the active sites, and the uh, Z-discs slide apart, returning to their original position, and the contraction ends.